How's it going to YouTube? This is your one and only Python versus here. And today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at pretty much my Bren MS2 again. Um, as you guys remember before, I had, it was pretty much just stock everything on the Bren that I have here, the Bren MS2. Now, uh, if you guys remember correctly, I had a brace on there. Um, pretty much, it was, it was completely bone stock. Like, I didn't have... And everything that you see here I did not have it was much different so this is my updated version pretty much my complete setup of my Bren MS2 here and uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about um, I personalized this weapon mainly for myself um, it's pretty much gonna be my main squeeze as a lot of folks will say um, it's gonna be the rifle that I'll be using the most, especially for uh, night vision. We're gonna start getting into night vision soon, so stay tuned for that. But uh, I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Bren MS2, and I decided to pretty much kit out my Bren itself, as you guys can see here. Um, I, I put in a lot of work on this, a lot of time and money on this, so this is my almost final form of my Bren MS2. Um, she feels super comfortable to shoot, and uh, I, like I said, man, I wanted to make it my main weapon. As you guys may know, this is pretty much battle proven itself. Um, you know, they're using this weapon in Ukraine too as well with the whole crazy thing that's going on over there. Um, so, yes, the Bren MS2 is going to be my main weapon of choice uh, whenever I go out to train and, you know, shoot with the boys and stuff like that. Now, this weapon to me is, is it's almost complete. It's almost complete. I have the ACR stock on her, um, which also folds. I could put this in a backpack uh, easily, pretty much, and it fits in there perfect. Um, you know, I also have I'll, I have the EOTech uh, EXPS uh, three. Um, you know, the ones with the night vision setting and stuff. Because, like I said, we're gonna get in the night vision game uh, pretty soon. So, um, well, I'll keep you updated on that. And I also have the magnifier too, so I can be able to reach out, you know, further distances, like at least 300 yards. And so, um, I want to be able to reach out with this, even though it's an 11.5 inch barrel. Um, I should be able to reach out further than that. I still haven't tested it out, um, you know, to further distance. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I reached out more than 200 yards with this yet. I'm able to handle this weapon pretty much comfortably um, for an 11.5 inch, you know, uh, barrel that this thing has. I did SBR this, so it is form one. Um, I'm able to, you know, comfortably just put it on my shoulder and just able to get to work with it. it it's just perfect. Um, like I said, this is gonna be my main squeeze. Um, it's not gonna be my do it all rifle, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of misunderstanding when people say "do it all." To me, there's not a rifle that can actually do it all. So that's why you usually have varieties, you know, like six, 16 inch barrels, um, and then you have the shorter barrels and things like that. But it's going to be my main, pretty much priority wise in terms of, you know, going out there and training if. My shit hit the fan scenario. This is also, you know, one that I'll be carrying. It's just one of those guns that it is amazing. Like you, you can't, you can't go wrong with the ZZ Brun at all. Like, and then on top of that, you got the looks of it, which the ZZ Brun just looks, it just looks beautiful, man. Like I said, it looks like almost like an ACR. Uh, that's mainly because of the stock, <laughs> but it looks, it looks freaking amazing. I got the handguard from HB Industries um, with the with the scout on it, the Surefire Scout Light, uh, so I can be able to, you know, just in case I need it. Also with the button press on the top, so in case, you know, I need to walk into a room, clear room or something like that, I could just simply, you know, just put my light on and stuff. It's, it's, it's super dope. This is something that I, I, I love it. I just love the setup of it. Um, you also have the gas uh, regulator there. You can switch the gas settings. In case you, you know, it makes it easier, even though the handguard and stuff like that, you can still, it still makes it easier for you to, you know, switch the, the gas settings on it. Um, I am going to switch out the gas, uh, 
the gas thing on this. Um, I know you can send it out to HP Industries and they'll pretty much, did uh, they give you like a third hole? Cause the 11.5 inch, apparently they're okay when it comes to suppressing, but it doesn't have a suppressor setting, which is kind of dumb. But for some reason it still runs perfectly fine, you know, suppressed. Um, but you know, just to be safe and stuff like that, I kind of do want that third hole on there. So I'm gonna be sending it out to uh, HB Industries so they can be able to get that third setting in there for me. Um, but like I said, apparently people are saying that they, they run it fine on the first setting. They haven't really had any issues in terms of switching it to that third or, or getting that third hole drill out in there. But other than that, yeah, so I'll probably be sending it out to HB Industries so they can get that fixed for me. So future plans with this is simple. I'm trying to get a laser. Uh, for my pretty much my nods and stuff my mvgs um so i'm going to be moving the pretty much the the scout light button i'm going to be moving it to the back and then obviously may get rid of the iron sights that i currently have now on there and then get you know opt out for maybe some uh i forgot what the heck they call it i know magpul makes some steel you know on the side uh um what's it called iron sights so we're probably going to switch out to that and but that's pretty much it. Also the trigger. I may update the trigger in the future. There's there apparently no need. You know, the trigger's perfectly, in my opinion, the trigger's perfectly fine with this. But um, HP Industries does make, like I said, HP Industries be making some fantastic stuff for the CZ. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna see if maybe in the near future we change out the trigger for here. Um, there's no issue with the trigger. The trigger I, I like it so far, but if you could put a better trigger on it, why not, you know? So and, and that's another thing, man. Like I said, a lot of people compare this thing to like the SCAR 16S. The SCAR 16 is still in his own league. I feel like it's much more accurate. Um, well, you still got a 16 inch, you know, barrel on there. But I feel like it's much more different than the ZZ brand. A lot of people still, you know, compare the ZZ brand to the SCAR 16. But uh, I'm not sure. I feel like the SCAR 16, it, it has a different purpose. Um, if I do say so myself, unless you SBR it, then maybe you can compare it to the, you know, 11.5 inch that I have here. And, you know, maybe there's a similarity there, but, you know, I do have the SCAR 16S and, you know, I did test it out and it, it, it's, it's a slight difference. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you guys, you know, have the bell notification on and uh, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to that. Like I said, I let my, I let my friend shoot this and he freaking loved it. You know, I, I let him test it out see what he thinks of it, and uh, he pretty much just loved it. Nice. Ooh. This one feels a lot more like my like AR, because the, the recoil impulse is very similar. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but this thing's sweet. This thing's like a tool. This is, this is, this can put the work in. There's still a little bit to get used to when you have a CZ brand. Um, it took me a minute to get used to it in terms of firing and stuff. But once you get the hang of it, you know, shooting wise and things like that, you know, getting the magazine out and, you know, once you get used to it, this like, it's already muscle memory and stuff. Um, mainly I think it's because of the charging handle that you have here, um, you know. But that charging handle stuff, it's not like an AR-15 like. Um, as you may know, uh, the charging handle is usually in the back with ARs and stuff. But over here, you got it on the side. So maybe that's what it is. But it, it took me kind of a while. Once I got used to it, you know, now I started understanding and stuff. The SCAR-16 is, is like that too. It has a precipitating charging handle, I believe. So, it, it, you know, SCAR-16 is very similar. But it's much... I don't know if it's because of the iconic style of it that it's much easier to understand. But other than that, man, yeah, the CZ Brent 2 is here and it is my main weapon of choice um, when it comes to me and dealing with situations or anything that could happen, you know? So that's one thing I love about this gun is that it's also very reliable. And like I said, it, it is hitting, it is hitting the face over there when it comes to the war in Ukraine and stuff. So, you know, a weapon that's dependable like that, that's over there, and you see it a lot over there. Um, why not have it as my main weapon? You know that I can trust with my life. You know, so that is something to think about. You know, something that a lot of people 
would do is they get a weapon and I get it, it's like an AR style, you know, you build it up to yourself or stuff like that, or they buy a weapon off the shelf and stuff, but they don't know the backstory. They don't know if it's, you know, is it worth it? You know, is it reliable? Some people don't do their research before buying a gun, which is not a good thing in my opinion. So yeah, the CZ brand, when I first brought it, it brought up to my attention that, you know, it's, it is made from ZZ, you know, they make great products, you know? So when it comes to them, uh, you know, I thought about it, I was like, I never knew they made I never even knew they made ARs. Like, I thought it was, you know, the Scorpions and things like that. When it came to ARs, I was like, they made an AR? I did not know that. So that's when I seen that they have the, you know, the CZ Brent 2 and the CZ805. I, I did thought about the CZ805, but I, I just wasn't as odd about it, you know? So, you know, when I heard that they coming out with the CZ Brent 2, and I'm like, oh, let me give that a try and uh, shoot it and stuff. And I enjoyed it. Even when it was stock, I enjoyed it. I made it. Uh, while it was stock, um, but I enjoyed it. But then once I started building it for myself, for my, you know, for my situations and stuff and my needs, that's when it came together and it, and I was like, wow, this is perfect, you know? So the CZ Brent 2 is amazing, I love it. Um, now that I finally got a chance to understand this weapon, how well it functions and stuff, this is my rifle, this is my main squeeze. So um, it's gonna be sticking with me for a long time. Now, uh, stay tuned because like I said, I have a review coming up on the SCAR-16, and then after we do the review on the SCAR-16S, we're going to do a comparison between the two, between the CZ brand and the SCAR-16S, so stay tuned for that. Um, we're almost at a thousand subscribers, guys, so <laughs> let's keep that pushing, all right? Um, the channel is doing well. We are on the road to almost getting completely monetized. We're we're half monetized, which I never understood. It's the new YouTube algorithm thing where, hey, you can be half monetized, and then once you complete the rest, you know, you'll be fully monetized. So, so far we're half monetized. So, let's see how things goes. You know, we're gonna keep growing, and uh, we're gonna continue this channel and see how far we can take it. So, anyways guys, this is Python Versus. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment and share with a friend. You know, like I said, it helps the channel out and it helps me make these content for you. And uh, hopefully in the near future, this channel could take off and I could continue making things like this for you guys. So take it easy, guys. Be safe out there. Stay dangerous. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm 